Google Meet is a video conferencing app that helps you to host your meetings for free. It is free to use and you can join a meeting without necessarily downloading the app. However, one thing you cannot do is you cannot join a meeting if you don't have a Google account. So let's have an overview of Google Meet. In order to get access to Google Meet, you need an email account. If you don't have an email account or if you are looking to create multiple email accounts, do want to check the next video at the end of this video. Now, after successfully creating your email account, navigate to a new browser and navigate your mouse to Google Apps. When you click on Google Apps, select Google Meet. This is how Google Meet interface looks like. This is how the help center for Google Meet looks like. This is the interface. So when you scroll down, you can get started with Google Meet. You can learn about the new Google Meet app. So formerly Google Meet was called Duo. And you can also learn more about what's new in Google Meet. You can set up your Google Meet account and you can also learn how to use Google Meet. So how to set up your Google Meet account, like I said earlier, you need a Gmail account. If you don't have a Gmail account, you cannot set up your Google Meet account, okay? And you can learn more about some tutorials on Google Meet. You can also learn how to start or join a meeting and all that. So there is a lot over here. Take your time, go through some of these things and then learn more as well. We can head over to the community tab, but the community tab is not yet ready. So we navigate straight ahead to learn about the new Google Meet app. Now, when you click on this, you get options like how to get started with Google Meet, how to start or join a meeting, and Gemini in Google Meet. So if you want to know more about Gemini, just click on this option, okay? So if you click on this option, you get to see things like get started with the Gemini for Google Workspace and how you can create background images. We'll talk about that later in this video as well. And you can enhance your video or audio with Gemini in Google Meet. So one thing about Google Meet is that there are basic features and premium features yes so if you don't know about that you can research more on that so now when you head back to google meet interface and then you click on the support and navigate your mouse to training over here you get access to a lot of resources that you can use for your advantage so we have meet quick starter guides and then there is meet productivity guides so you can have tips on how to collaborate during video meetings and tips on how to manage your audio and video tips on how to control meeting access and participation and tips to share content in a video meeting we will be looking at that as well and tips to set up business meetings and tips to use generative ai with a generative ai you can change your background image in video meetings we will be looking at that as well so do want to stay tuned till the end of this video you can learn by role and industry as well. So if you are a human resource manager and you want to use Google Meet for interviews, you just have to click on human resources. And then you can get access to a lot of resources that you can use. So you can learn how to recruit an interview candidate using Google Meet and how to hire employees, onboard employees, and a whole lot of resources that you can go through. So there is so much in Google Meet just take your time explore take your time and explore take your time and explore okay there is so much that google Meet can offer so there is also generative ai tips there's productivity tips business tutorials as well then you can switch from microsoft and others and if you are having any issues you just have to click on the support button and you are good to go now when we head back to google Meet interface you can also read your terms of service their privacy policy, and then their term summary. We won't be looking at that for now. Now, when you click on this thing that looks like a chat icon, when you click on it, you can report an issue. If you have an issue, you can report an issue to Google Meet. And if you want to suggest an idea to Google Meet, you can just click on it and you are good to go. Okay, so now over to settings. When you click on settings, you can change your microphone the type of microphone that you are using. So if you're using an external microphone, you just have to select this one. And if you're using an internal microphone, you can select this or there's any one that works for you as well. And then the speaker, you can select, if you're using a headphone, you can select this as well. Over to video, when you click on video, you can select the type of camera webcam that you can use. So if you're using an OBS virtual camera, you can select that one. 
but for now i am using an integrated webcam so i'm just going to go with this as well so we navigate to general settings over here as general settings you can enable desktop notifications and then you can leave empty calls as well so in order to do that you just have to check those boxes check those boxes and you are good to go now when you click on this this it will take you to the google apps so as usual when you click on google apps you get access to all the other apps that you can explore at your free time in order to create a video meeting head over to new meeting when you click on new meeting you have options like create a meeting for later so create a meeting for later is when you don't want to start a meeting instantly but you want to create a meeting for a scheduled time you can use this create a meeting for later all you have to do is just click on it and you can have your meeting link you can copy your meeting link and paste it somewhere so that you don't forget if you want to start an instant meeting you just have to click on start an instant meeting so now when you start an instant meeting you can add others if you have their email addresses and if you want to share the link you just have to copy the link over here and share it to them as well so over here at this button you get a time that the meeting was started and in a situation whereby you forget your meeting link you can copy this link as well and send it to whoever you want to join the meeting as well now let's head over to microphone settings or audio settings in case you want more about audio settings just have to click on this drop down menu and you get access to select the type of microphone that you want to use and the speakers as well you can do this in your settings when we head over to video settings you can select the webcam which is the normal webcam or if you are using an obs virtual camera you can select that as well and you can apply visual effects but if you are somebody that you don't have a good background you can apply visual effect to your video background so you just have to click on apply visual effect and over here there are numerous backgrounds that you can use there is spooky halloween but if you don't want this background you just have to keep scrolling and you can see professional backgrounds that you can use so if you can you can select a home office background and it will be applied to your videos for you as well you can also select cozy homes and there is nature there is styled and there is fantasy so you just have to select the one that you prefer and apply the changes to your videos as well we have filters so in case you want more filters in your videos there is funny filters characters costumes accessories and others as well just take your time and play with some of these things okay play with them explore take your time and explore some of these things there is also appearance so when you click on appearance you can adjust your video lighting so when you click on this it gives you the opportunity to adjust your video lightings as well and you can add some styles you can write see you can add styles so when you enable the video lighting you can apply the changes here so there's gray there is cloudy day there is sunlight and then there is moonlight as well so when you do this all the changes will be applied for you if you don't want this video light you just have to and check this box and you are good to go now if you don't want to be seeing any of this visual effect in your video background you just have to head over to this icon over here and turn off video background so just remove all and you are good to go so this is all about the video settings now when you head over to this which says turn on captions you can turn on captions by just clicking on this and everything that you say will be translated into a caption form for you to see whatever you are doing now if you want to send a reaction you just have to click on send a reaction and you can have you have the love emoji and other emojis over here the laughing emoji and others that you can explore if you don't want the colors of the emojis you just have to click on this you can change the skin color for your emojis as well now if you are in a meeting and you are asked to present your screen or if you are asked to present something that you are working on you just have to click on this which says present now when you click on present now you have the option to present a single chrome tab or you can present your window or you can present your entire screen which is the preferred option so you select entire screen and then you select the screen here 
and then you click on share immediately your screen will start sharing by itself and then you navigate to the resource or the project that you will be sharing now if you're in a meeting and you want to ask a question first of all you need to raise your hand and in order to do that you just navigate your mouse to this icon click on it and then the changes will be made now you've raised your hand in case you want to lower your hand you just have to click on it back navigate your mouse to this section over here and you click on it it gives you an overview of the meeting details so like i said you can you can copy the meeting link from here this session and send it to whoever you want to join the particular meeting with you as well now if you want to chat with the people in the meeting all you have to do is click on this chat icon or button and then you can chat with everyone over here so now you can go ahead and leave the meeting and voila you've left the meeting now you can click on this to return back to your home screen as well and now you are back to your home screen so now in case you want to schedule a meeting in your google calendar all you have to do is click on this option that says schedule in google calendar so over here in Google Calendar, you can schedule a meeting. Let me know in the comment section if you want me to make a tutorial on how to use Google Calendar. Now, in order to join a meeting with a link, all you have to do is paste the copied link over here in this box. Then you can join. When you click on join, you get access to the meeting. This is all about Google Meet. Do you want to check out the recommended videos I asked you to check out? And then watch out for my next tutorial on how to record video meetings. I'll give a detailed tutorial on how to record video meetings if you are not using premium features on Google Meet.